in one Hi, sweet boy. Obsession is chia pudding. reoccurring theme in my life right now is getting sick i'm telling you i have been sick probably once a month for the last three months it's not because i don't take care of myself you guys know i'm very health and wellness oriented I, it's just the fact that i work around sick people for a living so today is monday i have i have today off and then i'm working monday through and then i'm working monday through friday I just got these headbands in the mail from Amazon and I can't tell if I look like a freak or if they're cute. <laughs> I feel like they don't, I feel like they don't do a ton for me, but they keep my hair out of my face, which I find to be very helpful. But anyway, today is Monday. I have been trying to take it easy, but that is just not in my wheelhouse. Like if I'm sitting on the couch in the middle of the day or like trying to read during the middle of the day, I'm like, what am I doing with my life? It's just not something that's in my <laughs> So I went to the gym this morning, went to Trader Joe's, came home, edited a bunch of TikToks that I made this morning, posted them, um, cleaned up the house, did some finance stuff, did some like answering emails, figuring out what videos I want to do for this week. And now I'm, now it's like 5.30 and I'm not very hungry for dinner. So I'm thinking I want to organize my entire kitchen. <laughs> As you guys probably know, because I talk about it all the time, I have anxiety and for me, sitting down and relaxing just increases my anxiety. Some would probably say, if you watch my mannerisms, that I might have ADD, ADHD, some sort of OCD. Uh, I've not been to a psychiatrist. I don't want to be on stimulants, so I'm not really worried about it right now. But I'm having some anxiety, so we are going to organize underneath my sink. My house organization has just been bothering me so much over, I would say like the last two months. I think because my house has been so clean because we, since we hired a cleaner, I no longer have to worry about constantly cleaning my house. So I'm getting to like the next, you know, it's like keeping your house clean, keeping your house organized. And if you're always cleaning your house, you can never get to the keeping your house organized. At least that's how I feel. So now that my house is always clean, I feel like I can have it organized. So we're going to do some organization help just kind of like bring me from here to here um i also took two drops of my copacalm which you guys know i talk about copacalm a lot it's just it has gaba and l-theanine which are good for anxiety for me my brain is very cluttered i feel like if you put my brain on a piece of paper you wouldn't be able to follow it and i think that's kind of how a lot of people with adhd add feel um and when i can actually see something be organized i feel like the pieces kind of fall together in my brain if that makes any sense whatsoever. Weird, off what I'm feeling. Anyway, so I've been tracking for the last like six months. I have gotten it last like four days. I got it today for breakfast at the hotel and I actually had to think to reassure myself I understand everything. I want to research it. There's no explanation. That felt really good. If you are sick, you need one of these, okay? These are amazing. Basically, if your sinuses are all packed up, are all packed up, that does not mean that you have a bacterial infection and that you need to be on antibiotics. Actually, it just means that your sinuses are backed up. We typically do not like to treat sinus infections with antibiotics unless you've been sick for at least seven days because that creates antibiotic resistance. Most likely you have a virus, something like rhinovirus, adenovirus, the flu, COVID, et cetera, or the hundreds of other viruses that we do not test for. And viruses do not have to be cleared with an antibiotic. Viruses can be cleared by themselves. Oh my god. I didn't say it was fun, okay? Oh my god, I have so much snot in my nose that it's not like coming out. Okay. 
I know that was hell, but listen to me now. <laughs> literally, I'm crying. I'm literally crying. <laughs> but I feel like, look, I can, I can actually breathe through my nose now, which is really nice, but <laughs> it does feel better when it's done, I promise. Swift up some ramen for dinner tonight. This is like the easiest recipe ever. And I am quite aware that the last like season of Only Murders in the Building came out a while ago, but I have not watched it. So we're watching that. I also wanted to just say that on the days or like my long weekends, I do realize how much I could not be a work from home person. Um, not even because I like people that much. I'm really like, I'm a true introvert. I think I've said that before. Like I'm the definition of an introvert. But like being around other people during the day does make me happy. And even though my job is like very hard and very stressful, like I've been so lonely today, <laughs> which is sound sad. Like, please don't feel bad for me. I don't mean it in the sense of like, I'm so lonely. I have nobody around me. I just mean like, I haven't interacted with anybody today except for my dogs. And it's 7.30, Seth is not getting home from a basketball game until probably nine o'clock so i'm still gonna be alone for another like hour and a half and i just don't know what to do with myself so yeah i don't know i just like working with other people okay so when you guys see this video seth will be home but he is currently away on a tournament in texas and i am really sad that he's gone <laughs> and um uh, it's very difficult i this is gonna if you have kids like this is gonna you're gonna roll your eyes at this and i i understand trust me but um when he's gone it's very difficult to take care of the dogs with myself because they have two very high energy dogs and like i can't take them for walks by myself because one of them weighs almost as much as me um and they don't like to go without their dad which is kind of crazy but i don't know what it is i think they like see him as the pack leader or something so they don't like to go for walks without him so anyway then they don't get like all of their energy out during the day and we can't like exercise them as much and it's just harder but they are relaxing right now. I'm making myself a tea. It's like 9.45. I'm going to go lay in bed. I'm currently reading Strange Sally Diamond, which is okay so far. It's definitely strange. <laughs> um, I'm also rereading The Mountain Is You. I don't think I ever finished it before, but I kind of like to read both a self-help and a... I feel like you guys can't really see me. And I feel like you should see my face if I'm talking. <laughs> um, I really like to read like a self-help and a um, like a fiction story together because I get kind of bored reading self-helps just by themselves to be completely honest. So um, yeah, they're okay. Like not, neither one of my favorites right now, but I did just finish reading um, the Five Star Weekend, which was so good. It's by Ellen Hildebrand. If you guys haven't read like Ellen Hildebrand, um book before you totally should um this one is one of my favorites i'm trying to think of the other name of the one that i read um hotel nantucket that was so good i loved that also this is like kind of all over the place but i did the heatless curls on my hair last night and i've had my hair up in a bun for the last i don't know hour so they look kind of crazy um my hair did look great throughout the day today but you guys sleeping last night was terrible with that thing in my head so I will definitely do it again, but it's not something that I can do every night. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It's Wednesday morning. We are all ready for work. Got the dogs situated, played with the dogs, fed the dogs. <laughs> and now we are leaving. I have morning meeting on Wednesdays. You guys know the drill. You guys know my feelings. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys like a little tip, which I feel like a lot of you guys probably already um, listened to The Toast on, um, it's a podcast, Two Sisters, and they literally, I keep freaking forgetting my sunglasses, it's so bright outside. Um, they are 
the funniest, most entertaining people. They have a daily podcast that they, that they come out with Monday through Friday. They light up my life every day listening to them. I listen to them on the way to work when I'm driving in between offices, coming home. Um, sometimes I even listen to them at the gym instead of music. So I don't know. I If you guys like need a good podcast that is truly entertaining, I feel like a lot of these podcasts that I used to listen to have just fallen off my roster because they're not talking about anything. Like just highly recommend if you are not what they call a toaster or you need to become a toaster, it will make your life so much better, I promise. Especially when you're going to work. Like it really just makes my very short commute so much better. I do not remember when I last picked up the camera, but here we are. I think it might have been this morning. It's Wednesday night currently. I just got out of the shower. I'm doing my skincare routine, so I thought we could kind of do it together. I don't know if I posted this on, I don't know where I posted this, but we're just gonna do an updated skincare routine. Not that there is much of a difference because I always keep it simple, but I just thought it'd be fun. Like get ready for bed, chit chat. I have some things I feel like I need to talk about. <laughs> Um, I'm using the different adaptylene gel. I am obsessed with this. I use it every other night. Um, I use it. Every, I used to use it every night, and I still like swear by this product and would use it every other night. But a company sent me this retinol cream, or sorry, this algae retinol face oil, which is definitely not the same. But I've been trying it out, so I've been just like using this every other night and this every other night, and I really like it. It's very, it's a very clean company. So. The company is called Mara, M-A-R-A, -A, which is just funny because it's my friend's name. <laughs> um, anyway, so do that, and then I usually go in with some type of Kiehl's product. I really switch it up based on like what I use at night because they've sent me a lot of products, and sometimes I get overwhelmed with the amount of PR that I receive because I'm only one person. My husband does use my skincare, but like I just don't need as much, so like for Christmas I did like give away a lot of the stuff that I've received, but I do appreciate it. Like, don't get me wrong, I do appreciate it, but I'm only one gal, so I don't really need that much. Um, so this is their niacinamide cream that you're supposed to use in the morning and at night. And then this is their glycolic acid that you're supposed to use at night. So I typically just use the glycolic acid. However, I'm close to being out. So when I run out, I'm just gonna switch to the niacinamide cream twice a day. <laughs> this is like not skincare advice but if I had to give skincare advice it would be to keep it simple the amount of products that you need is really not that much really the basis of what you need is a good cleanser a good moisturizer a good retinol type agent whether it's an actual retinol prescription strength which is going to be better but if you are pregnant breastfeeding you cannot take it um, or if you're just using like an over-the-counter adaptylene like me because you're lazy and don't want to go to your doctor and get a retinol script, um, that's totally fine as well. And then I would recommend a good vitamin C serum in the morning. I personally use this herbivore vitamin C. I really like it. I started using it probably like a month and a half ago and I really like it so far. I feel like it's probably one of the only vitamin C serums. It's not a serum, sorry, vitamin C lotion. It is a serum, but it's like in a lotion form. Um, but it's probably one of the only ones I've used that I actually feel like I see quite a bit of brightness from. So, highly recommend that. I've been using this Kiehl's um, eye zone treatment. This is not something that I would recommend. Um, I just, I don't see like a ton of results with it to be honest, but I've never used an eye cream that I'm just like 100% that corrects my dark, dark circles. I have no crow's feet. You know, it's just, it's not gonna work like that. So just don't get your hopes up. You know, know the difference between good skincare and stuff that like a laser or Botox need to fix, you know? And then Mara actually sent me this Sea Dream Algae Cream, which is supposed to be used at night. Apparently it has vegan stem cells in it. Yeah. So I just started using this probably like three or four days ago. No significant changes, but it does feel really nice. It's like, it's very thick and creamy. I love a thick moisturizer. My ultimate moisturizer is First Aid Beauty. Um, 
ultra repair cream i live and die by that stuff but i'm just trying to use up a bunch of my pr right now see if it's like worth repurchasing for a while i was using the kiehl's ultra facial cream which i do really like this stuff um just nothing beats the first aid beauty for me nothing beats it but anyway um i wanted to just chat about comments online i recently got a comment on my last youtube video from a lady who was like it was the video that i posted about just having a hard week at work and if you watch the video you hear that i said i had a lot of my difficult cases um that week and it was very difficult for me mentally but obviously i understood that that was a part of my job and i was like i it's not the patient's fault or anything like that it just that's how it worked out is i saw all of my hard cases within this week and i was very mentally drained that's what i said and this girl commented and she was like it just seems like you i don't remember exactly what she said and i did delete it because i reserve the right <laughs> to delete comments um if i don't like them but Basically, it was just to the point of like, you don't seem like you like your job. You don't seem like you should be working in healthcare, um, blah, 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 whatever. And it just brings me back to this point that I try to make all the time, basically on social media, where it's like, if anybody else, if corporate America goes on social media and says, man, I had a really rough day today. All of my high, all of my hard clients, their deliverables were due today and it was really rough. I understand that's part of my job, um, but I just had a hard day. I really don't think anybody would bat an eye on it, but God forbid somebody who works in healthcare says, you know what? I had a really hard day today. My patients were really tough um, and I'm just mentally exhausted you don't like your job you're not adequate you uh, like should not be working where you are it's like no i'm just saying i had a hard day that's it that's it that's literally all i said i had a hard day i saw a lot of patients i said i was i had to send one of my patients to the er and i was up all night thinking about them because i was worried about them like that's the sign of somebody who cares i'm sorry that's the sign of somebody who cares about their patients not a sign of somebody who treats them and treats them okay i just feel like i had to say that i did in fact delete the comment and block the person from my page because in 2024 we will take no negativity i've decided after i had this random person who has never seen me as a patient put a review on my work um on my work like google page about me as a provider I decided I am like just done with toxic people and I'm no longer going to like try to reason with them, comment, I, I, I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but maybe I should just cut the clips. Did I tell you guys that I got my nails done? Are these not the cutest nails? They're like my Valentine's Day nails. I am going to have to get them done one more time before Valentine's Day. I love Good morning. It's been a few days since I updated you guys. It is now Saturday morning, and um, I want to say like the last time I vlogged was either Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, but yeah, the week turned out pretty good, no issues. Um, I'm not sure if I told the vlog, but my medical assistant, his last day was yesterday. He um, is trying to get into PA school and kind of working on that and seeing if he needs any more like experience he got some feedback essentially saying that he was lacking hospital experience for pa school so um he's trying to go there but the best medical assistant i ever had and made my life so much easier so like i don't know this week was very was very good as far as like you know everything went smoothly whatever but i i felt like like a heavy heart because i knew that he was leaving and um yesterday was his last day so anyway i'm just uh, i i'm like trying to like not think about what life at work is going to be like not having a dedicated medical assistant right now i'm just gonna have like people you know floating through which is always very difficult um it's just very difficult to do and not really having somebody that you can go to when like you need something done when you need a patient called um is hard so anyway you know i i'm off 
for two days. I'm off Saturday and Sunday this week, and then I head back to work. Um, but I'm just, you know, trying to calm down, and I don't know, like, not even calm down. I'm just trying to be, I'm just having some anxiety this morning. I think just about, like, unrelated causes. I'm not, I'm, like, about nothing, essentially. Like, I'm having anxiety about nothing, but... I booked myself a yoga class and I think I want to do a TJ Maxx run. I have been seeing TJ Maxx all over my For You page on TikTok and I just, I feel like I need to get into TJ Maxx. So I thought we would go do that. It's actually Gasparilla in Tampa, which is kind of like a big drinking event here. And it's, um, it's downtown Tampa and I, I do not live in downtown Tampa. So I'm thankful that I don't live there right now. And um, I will be avoiding downtown for probably the whole weekend. Hey. <laughs> Was that necessary? <laughs> Hi. Okay, we are outside walking. Um, we're at the school that my husband works at. And sometimes on the weekends I will take the dogs here because they, like, it's, there's a bunch of open space. They have, like, a soccer field and all of this stuff. And the dogs run around and I feel like... Um, they get like way more exercise than us just taking them on walks every day and every time that we come here I'm like oh my gosh I need to move to a farm in the middle of nowhere because my dogs would be so happy and that would make me so happy they love just like being here where are they oh here they are <laughs> let me show you oh my goodness hi hey Hoosh. Hi, sweet boy. Hi. I am like running a little bit low on time though. Um, I think it's like almost 10 o'clock and I need to get home so that I can eat something before my hot yoga class because you guys, these hot yoga classes are not easy. Okay, like they're so hard and then they, so we do like hot yoga, like a yoga flow for like 20 minutes and then for I don't know, probably like 30, 35 minutes. I'd say the majority of class, we do interval training and they do some type of like, like lifting, but it's not like lifting that I do in the gym. It's like, you know, let's do, we'll do like bicep curls with like 10, 12 pound weights. You can pick your weights, whatever you want. And then, you know, you'll do some type of leg thing and then you'll do cardio. And when I tell you guys I don't do cardio, I mean it like I don't do cardio and so this class like absolutely kills me with the cardio um but anyway it's been just like a lovely morning whenever like this time of year comes around like January February it's the most like stunning time to live in Florida and like today I think it's gonna be 80 degrees and obviously like it's sunny outside and I just feel really thankful because seasonal depression is so real and like you know the people who live up north it's snowing and like 18 degrees outside and I'm just like uh anyway if you guys live up north like I'm not meaning to rub it in but this is just why I chose to move to Florida also my outfit right now is comical <laughs> One last thing is my dogs absolutely love to swim. <laughs> and before anybody says anything about gators in here, this is like a monitored pond since it's on like school property. So there are no gators in here, um, which is very nice. And if they ever do find gators, they remove them. They have you call the authorities who remove gators in Florida. Um, but literally like they love to swim. I wish I had a pool so they could swim in it every day. I'm literally, guys, we have to go home. Yes. Who's, come on, we gotta go home, Bubba. Recent breakfast obsession is chia pudding that I made just with like oat milk chia seeds and then putting some berries, peanut butter, and a little bit of granola. It's so good and really like high in fiber. Get a lot of like good nutrients in from it. To yoga, this is the fit. These are like literally my favorite leggings ever and they were a collaboration that Sarah's Day did with White Fox and they're just so good. Like I'm telling you like better than Lululemon 
better than set active they're my favorite i reach for them all the time because they're like kind of spandexy material but they're not like and they are tight and they definitely like suck you in and like make everything look good but they're not like so tight where you're like Ugh. it's cute it's cute it's cute yoga class is done it's actually a really good class today i didn't feel like it absolutely murdered me um where some classes there i'm like oh my god the amount of cardio is literally going to kill me um but it didn't today it was like the perfect amount so that was good and now i thought that the um store near me was a tj maxx but apparently it's a marshall's and i cannot tell you how many years it has been since i have walked into a marshall's tj maxx but we're about to do it We'll do it together. Hopefully we find some good stuff. I'm not really looking for anything particular. I just like, I just want to understand the hoopla. I feel like it's a bad sign that it's missing the H. Okay. I don't know what you want. I got lots of toys. This one for camp. Yeah, this one definitely for camp. Bougie, this one would be fun for you. It's like tug of war. Yeah. Here you go. Look, it's squeaky. Oh, it's squeaky. I also got this that you can, okay. I just got back. I have been around town, you guys. Um, I went to TJ Maxx. I'm gonna show you guys a haul of what I got a little bit later because I cleaned out my car. Um, I got Starbucks, which is really subpar, um, but I used my free points on it. So I don't know, I'll save it for kind of later, I guess. Um, and then I also got an acai bowl. And there's this place near me that's called Sunrise Energize, I wanna say. And they make the best acai, acai bowls close to me. They're so good. I don't like when my acai bowls taste like, um, I don't like when they have, I like them to have like a bunch of stuff in them, but not like the ratio to acai to toppings needs to be adequate. And this is adequate. So it has acai at the bottom, strawberries, bananas, hemp seeds, granola um and peanut butter that's it and uh, simple is good for me mm. it also has goji berries on it i'm gonna take it outside it's literally the most stunning day outside today oh my god you're kidding you're literally kidding You just got that. Hi, baby. Why did nobody tell me about Marshalls? I feel like I have been left out of something monumental. I just went into Marshalls for the first time in probably 10 years. I got so much stuff. First of all, I got this set to go with this skirt. I don't know where the heck I'm going to wear it, but I'm going to wear it somewhere. These might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I think that they're so cute and like super flattering. These were $25. $25. Anywhere else, these would have been $75. I literally got three makeup cases for $25. One in my bathroom, one in my car, one for tampons and pads. Literally perfect. I saw these at Anthropology. two of them, for 20 bucks last month. This is very random, but I needed a tea kettle. This is freaking cute. $17. Anywhere else, this would have been $35, I promise you. I, I'm astounded.